students in present video i am going to explain about first problem from cash book topic i am taking this problem from telangana state telugu academy inter first year accountancy test book but this video is useful to all commerce students who want to know about cash book topic this problem is related to single column cash book or simple cash book question is available in the description box this is a format of single column cash book it is divided into two sides debit side credit side debit side columns are date particulars ledger folio number and amount credit side also same to prepare single column cash book there are two methods first of all in question he has given some transactions you no know? so by using journal entries for each transaction we can prepare single column cash book second method is shortcut method so in present video i am going to explain shortcut method that is single column cash book here we are preparing cash book nothing but cash account so cash account is a real account because cash means asset assets come under real account what is real account rule debit what comes in credit what goes out so we should assume that we are preparing this book in firms books so think from firms point of view to the firm if cash is coming debit side we should write that from the firm if cash is going credit side we have to show that let us start the problem prepare single column cash book of mrs manasvi traders from the following particulars question is given for january month so for january month he has given some business transactions we have to record them in single column cash book owner's name is mrs manasvi traders so our assumption is we are an accountant of this organization so think from their point of view on 1st january 2019 business commenced with 20000 so owner started business by bringing 20000 rupees capital into the firm cash is coming into the firm so debit side we should write on 1st january 2019 as this is prepared in account format debit side in particular column with the two we have to start credit side with the buy we have to start and what to write here owner is bringing capital into the business now so write down to capital account don't write anything in lf member column in amount column 20000 rupees third day sales 5000 firm sold goods to customers so customers paid money to us means this is cash sale because customers name is not given cash is coming into the firm debit side we should write on third day to sales account 5000 rupees sixth day cash paid into bank 2000 rupees so think from firm's point of view firm deposited money into bank from the firm cash is going if cash is going credit side we should write now on sixth date by we are depositing money into bank now so write down bank account 2000 rupees 10th day purchased missionary 1800 firm purchased missionary seller's name is not given means this is cash purchases so missionary is coming to us cash is going from us cash is going credit side we should write 10th date by if goods are purchased we should write by purchases account if any fixed asset is purchased that fixed asset name we have to mention here missionary is purchased a fixed asset is purchased write down that asset name by missionary account 1800 rupees 14th date advertisement expenses paid 600 cash is going from the firm now credit side by advertisement account 600 rupees 17th day drawings 300 rupees from the firm owner withdrew money for personal use cash is going credit side 17th date write down drawings account 300 rupees 19th day cash purchases 5000 so what we are buying information is not available then the meaning is we are buying goods so goods are coming to the firm and from the firm cash is going cash is going credit side 19th date when goods are purchased we have to write purchases word 5000 rupees 21st date 
sold goods to Naresh on credit 3000 rupees. So we sold goods to customer on credit. So goods are going from us, but cash is not coming to us. So cash is not coming, not going. Therefore, we need not to write this transaction in cash book. Cash book comes under subsidiary book. No? There are total eight subsidiary books. So all transactions we need not to write only in cash book. Other seven books are also there. Purchase book, sales book, purchase returns book, sales returns book, cash book, bills receivable book, bills payable book and general proper. This is credit sale transaction. It will be recorded in sales book, not in cash book. So ignore. 23rd date, commission received 800 rupees. Cash is coming into the firm, debit side. To commission received account, 800 rupees. 25th, paid to Sham 3500. We paid cash to Sham. Cash is going credit side by Sham account. 28th day, received rent 1200 rupees. Cash is coming into the firm, debit side. To rent received 1200 rupees. Posting is completed. Next step, balancing. Observe this side total is more, debit side. So, debit side total in rough notes we have to write. Debit total is 27,000 rupees. Credit column total is 13,200. Difference is 13,800. We said we should write this answer where the total is less that side. Credit side total is less. Credit side write on this amount. 13,800. For answer, we have to write by balance carried down. Date, last date of the month. In January month, the last date is 31st no? Write down that date here. And two sides, write down this highest amount, 27,000 rupees as total. Debit total is 27,000 rupees. Credit side, as we wrote the difference, if you add all these amounts, same total comes, 27,000 rupees. As you are a student, only for one month you prepared simple column cash book. But when you really work in any organization, for every month you have to prepare single column cash book. So next month is February. In January month, there is some balance. That balance you have to bring to February month. We said credit side balance carried down came now, debit side you have to bring. Date should be next immediate date of this date. 1st February 2019. 2. We are bringing the balance now. So write down balance brought down amount 13,800. So what is the actual meaning of this answer? Firm is maintaining cash book. On 31st January 2019, according to accounts, cash balance is 13,800. So when physically we count the cash, then 13,800 cash should be there. Then the meaning is we have proper control on cash. And remember one more point, cash book should always show a debit balance. Here, debit total is more than credit total now. So credit side we wrote by balance carried down. This amount is known as a debit balance because debit total is more. Cash book never shows a credit balance. Why? Because debit side we wrote receipts, credit side payments. So what we receive from that only we pay no, therefore payment should be less, receipt should be more. If you are getting credit balance, means if credit total is more than debit total, then the meaning is you did some mistake in the problem. You have to rectify that mistake. So this is all about first problem from cash book topic. Hope this video is helpful to you. Thank you.